future trends for enterprises when defending against APT groups um, include a pretty long list of things to recognize, to understand, and to defend against. The more significant ones that we've been noticing is that the cost of entry is decreasing and the precision and volume of activity is on the increase. We've seen cyber mercenary groups, um, so we see more pay-to-play sort of activity coming from these groups. They know what they're after within a specific organization and they're going to take it and cover up their tracks and move on. And when you're talking about global supply chain or other sort of global uh, networks like that, sharing of knowledge about one actor or another becomes more difficult because you're working with contractors and subcontractors and these competitors aren't talking with each other about what's going on across international boundaries. So there are all sorts of problems when it comes to the cost of entry decreasing and the type of activity we're, we're seeing more of. Some of the other future trends that we're picking up on from APT groups have to do with a lot of crossover between commercial and government. So organizations that are, again, working in a sort of a supply chain fashion are being hit in pursuit of the bigger target. So just as with ice fog, we saw the global supply chain being hit. Instead of attacking the parent organization, going after weaker, smaller subcontractors is an effective means of achieving the same goal. We saw logistical issues with subcontractors at the target retailer where their contractors were hit in order to serve as a sort of a launching pad for the attackers to get further into the retailer and then steal all of that credit card related information from customers. And then finally we've been seeing much more destructive attacks over the past year. So whether it's wiper style attacks where they're just deleting information and ruining systems in an organization by the thousands. We're also seeing a lot of DDoS style network attacks where they, instead of just trying to steal information from web servers, they're trying to take down um, web servers for extended amounts of time in order to either make a political statement or to directly damage the assets of, of a target. Um, so that's another pretty severe trend we've been seeing over the past year or so.